Welcome back to Meandering Effect Andromeda. My name is Kevondre. My name is Bobby. Uh, last time, we uh, did the vault, and we made the planet pretty. Yes, with, um, with Aurora Borealis. Yes. And uh, we went and we um, helped uh, this dude's uncle from the slave camp, and now we're going to that dude's sister's place over here uh, to help out before we can establish our outpost. I'm so, reading a temperature decrease. Should be good shit. This is called Techix, is this place that we're in now. Yeah. It's a it's a nice place. Range, There's no rugs That's to tie the room together, stores. but it's an alien planet. You just gotta get over that. He got free and didn't even pay me a courtesy visit? Rude. I'm sorry. I can't... Are you Buxel? I have something for you. From my brother who can't stop being a hero? Yes. Anyik told me to expect you. My son Skiot said he'd sent people off to Nilj. I thought more lives lost. Nice to see I was wrong. Thanks for getting him out. Losing him would have set our efforts back months. Losing family is hard. I'm glad I could spare you that pain. Thank you. They talked about your abilities, but no one said anything about your kindness. Oh. <laughs> Those motherfuckers haven't mentioned my kindness? I'll kill them! <laughs> That'd be great. This is a layout of the Ket Command Center. Entrances, exits, security. We'll be able to cripple their operations. Wait, there's something else here. Oh, that's not good. What? You're not even looking at the data. Shielded and locked with the code with changes often. Metadata tells me they downloaded this weeks ago. The code is about to change again. If an attack is going to happen, it needs to happen now. Do it. Let me help. Tell me what to do. The code to disable the security shields is encrypted, but I'll keep working on it. I've sent you the map and a nav point for a side entrance that won't have as many guards. Go quickly. We'll be in touch. There's no talk. Okay. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Doors are for wimps. So, uh... Okay. So, so we'll go um, the to the base. We don't need to go observe the shield thing. Well, it's just something good. that we can do. So we don't Temperatures are within acceptable parameters. What a lot. What's it like living an entire millennium, Drac? You want my advice? Take notes as you go. Otherwise, you sort of lose track of it all. Cat signals detected ahead, Pathfinder. You don't say. <laughs> I would have never thought that, Sam. Well, I mean, you never know. No. No. Oh. You could get over there and it's just like, hey, there are bears. <laughs> yeah, with their signals. Yeah. It'd be crazy just to find fucking earth bears <laughs> in Andromeda. <laughs> yeah. Who, who stuck a fucking bear onto the Ark? Duh! It, it was me. <laughs> the Earth King, obviously. Seven went to Andromeda. Yes. That was Cock! Yeah! All right. Nice. You should not have <laughs> made that. Uh, let's see. We just is enjoying my sparkling wine. <laughs> ah, my, my. I don't know what he's doing now. I'm just making my way downtown. Cat ahead, Pathfinder. I recommend Yeah. Well, you know, you and Terry Cruz have fun with that. Then I shall. I mean, if I gotta have fun with Terry Crews, making my way downtown, I, I wouldn't pass that opportunity up. He seems like a generally great Good guy. Target. I agree. It, it would be awesome. Talk about a uh, big deal game. And art. Yeah. Good shit. Yeah? Dude can paint like a motherfucker. Do motherfuckers paint? Yeah. <laughs> I would assume so. Fair enough. I mean, my dad paints. <laughs> well, I guess that's that then. Yeah. You can extract minerals by your mining interface. You know, you still owe me as I don't know if your dad paints. I'm not the brainy uh, not really. Oh. He plays no, you're the big footed clod who tripped over it. Thought he you should pick up painting. Fixing things. And then landed your ass on it. Wretched it flat. So you admit defeat. <laughs> Classic crack. 
But if something is not strong enough to stand up to the strength of my ass, it was too weak for this world. Goddamn agree. So where are we going? We're going up to the base. It's we're seems gonna slap it. Seems to be a long way away. Yeah, we're just you know, it's it's right there, but we have to get there. Oh. It's on the mountain. So climb the mountain. Motherfucker, I am following the boy. Like, if you need help climbing a mountain... Call Captain Kirk? Yeah, I know a guy. Captain Kirk is climbing a mountain. Why is he climbing a mountain? To hug the mountain. To envelop that mountain. He wants, wants to, to make love, love to the mountain. mountain. Such a strange thing to yeah. exist. This blizzard's cutting right through my suit. Not really. You ever wish that you could see rings? Uh, no. If Earth had rings, that'd be tight. I mean, maybe. But ever since uh, Beyonce sang that one song, you know, if you want it, you should have put a ring put on a it. Ring on it yeah. I'm just like, well, I no longer want anything. Ever. No rings. Oh. Mandarin's like, oh. don't drive us off this <laughs> cliff, kid. All right, Relax, fine. I got this. The blowing snow is mesmerizing. But kind of pretty. Outside temperature is in free fall. Hello, friends. Is in free fall? Yeah, I don't know what that means. I'm storm. It wouldn't apply. Mm, never mind. Not gonna dissect this game too much. That would be silly. Right in the fucking wall. Well, they're dead. Where are you going, boy? He's going to kill that one that flew off. Oh, okay. Let's turn up the heat. Let's oh, turn up the heat. Some iridium. Scanning for iridium. About to stimulate. Uh, Solarian science smothered in idiom about a stimulating and scanning for iridium. Yes, I agree. Yes, cannot deny. No matter what scars you bear, whatever uniform you wear, you can fight like a Krogan, run like a leopard, but you'll never be better than Commander Shepard. I don't know, I didn't this time, like Commander Shepard's dead. That's very true. So, I'm just being able to walk around. Look at that. Depending on the ending, though. Was that? the ending of ME3. You'll have to remind me which one would allow Shepard to be alive. So, life is kind of a strange thing. Even if you pick Destroy and Shepard survives, um, you know, this is still 600 years later, so Shepard's not alive there. But Shepard does live in the control ending, just kind of in a mechanical way. Well, I mean, the hard drives were out. Oh. But, like, Shepard lives within the Reapers, which, you know, never died in hundreds of thousands of years old. Do you see any Reapers here? Not here, because they didn't come to Andromeda. Well, they weren't programmed to come to Andromeda. Sounds like they, uh, they died. Oh. oh. I'm at the entrance to the base. Have you decrypted the code for the shields? Yes, and not a moment too soon. Transferring it to you now. Stars be bright for you, Pathfinder. Okay. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. Satellite radio. Time to kill the cat with the We're boom, in. boom. Get to work. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Is that how you kill cats? Stepping on leopard cat. <laughs> uh, they have some of the weirdest lyrics once you just look at them. Yeah, man. Go watch our uh, Arkham Asylum playthrough. Bobby Bobby just reads through that song's lyrics on the finale of that series. It's fucking weird. That's also the series in which we got the better microphone in the middle of it. Is it? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice. Just the one, though, before we got the second one. Yes. Still, made a difference. Because we started off with a little bitty, like, snowball. The snowball, yeah. Yeah, and that thing was awful. Now we both got an AT-2020. Yeah, which still isn't, like, super high-end, but it's, you know... USB-friendly. It's USB-friendly and affordable. Yeah. And we got little, you know, mesh... 
things on them and all that stuff. Yeah. We, we like to pretend that we're very uh, professional. Yes. Super professional. That's us. You know, when, Wiley Coyote. Super <laughs> when none of the foam padding on the walls to prevent the reverberation from the background. Hey, I put we put posters up. I'm sure that counts. I agree. Bobby about killed himself putting the posters up. Yeah. But I was going to do it, but I'm way too thick. So I would have broken my desk and he had to stand on it. Yeah. So I helped. I am much smaller than he is. He is a much smaller human. I, I'm not even small, but I'm much smaller than he is because he's like almost a foot taller than me. Yeah, I'm I'm six two and thick. Goodbye, friends. I'm five eight and just not he's, thin. He's, he's compact. Yeah. I can spit him in a briefcase. I mean, if you had to. I would appreciate it if you didn't. Yeah, but I don't want to buy a second plane ticket. We should find that defense matrix and shut it down. If we could go anywhere, I'd probably be the one buying the plane tickets. Fair enough. Because I get that money. Fucking rich AF. I am not rich AF. I just have less bills than he does. Yeah. Keep it up. Someday. Someday. Sometimes I... You little bitch. Fuck her up. Good boy, Drac. Jesus. He's he's there for me because I keep pressing the wrong buttons, so it's fine. Yes. The force I know what you're saying more than you do. That's true. I barely know what I'm saying at all. Terminal. Final Fantasy fanfare. Whole bunch of f words. F f f f. Although fanfare is one word. True. But it doesn't have to. Be. So triple f. Triple F to pay respects. Yeah. Uh, hit F down in the comment section to pay respects. Yes. Not to anything in particular, just, you know. We, we require your respect. <laughs> so what are we doing now? Disabling uh, their generator. I'm sorry. Oh, we're, okay. we're, we're storming this facility. I have marked the coordinates of the security tunnel. To well, to the tower. it looks like their stuff is fucked up. Yeah. So, you know, they're just like, Arr! You know? Yeah. That, they make that sound. As anyone does. Just rude. That, that's part of their language. Well, it is now. But also, I meant the, Arr! That sound that I make. I still love those posts online. It's like, oh, this animal has a... A specific noise just to be like, hey, there are bees near here. Or, oh, there's a predator over in these bushes. And it's like, why don't we, you know, have words for that? We, we, do? we do? Yeah, it's, we hey, just them. there are bees near here. <laughs> um, yeah, cool. Look at me. Parkour. So fancy. Did you end up reading that third book? <laughs> No, no you I, didn't. I finished Changes the other day, and okay. then I haven't started another book. Changes from the Dresden Files. Yeah. Okay, and you haven't started another one. Security Even though saying that you were going to listen to the third one first before you restarted Dresden. I'm, no, I said that I was going to listen to Changes first, and you then I was going to do that before Ghost Story. You said that after you had already started Changes, but before you started Changes, you had said, oh, look, I'm going to listen to the third book, look, and then do Dresden. Look, shut up. Oh, okay. Pipe down. Don't judge me. Man, that, that third book would be uh, certainly an interesting thing to talk about. I know! I'm gonna do it. Just, you know. That, okay, fine. That'll be next. Okay. But I'll start it tomorrow when I have to work. You know what other third book would be good to talk about? Doors of Stone from the King Killer Chronicles. Uh, yeah, maybe. 
It's it's not happening. We're getting two Dresden Files books this year. It's you know we could we could probably get the goddamn third King Killer. Well, uh, I think Rothful now will you know write it. I think it was about a month ago on the uh, the YouTube channel the Eolian that he posted a whole bunch of blog video stuff. And he was just like, yeah, a whole bunch of people are coming to me saying, like, oh, Amazon and Book Depository are saying August 2020. And he's just like, no. I'm not trying to be rude, but this happens every year. Kind of use your fucking brains at this point. Yeah, that happened <laughs> a lot with the uh, hate stocks. Yeah. It, it, if there was a pub date, I'd be the one telling you because I'd be throwing the biggest damn party. So... It's just a good point. See, but it's I, just like I that wonder, means there's no pub date. I wonder it's not if done. the book is just going to suck, which is why he's he's not been releasing it. See, I was thinking about that because a lot of people constantly looking for that end up going to the World Builder site where he runs like a charity organization. Yeah. Kind of thing. So it's like if he publishes the third book, you get that surge of people going there, but then it just dies off because there's no what's an update. Right. So, could you imagine that, like, completing a book, you know, this whole huge trilogy, everybody's looking forward to it, but then your charity <laughs> organization suffers for it. That would suck. That would suck. So he'd have to write another series. Well, he has said that there will be more books inside the Quoth universe, just not around Quoth. Right. But, you know, if we can't even finish off the Quoth one, then I doubt it. Pathfinder, it appears each of the Rude. Yeah. It's a good pupper. I can the He's just trying to defend the base from invaders, and it's a good cover. He's trying to play the base. Yes. You must slap. Don't slap puppers. Slap base. Slap base. Controls are locked. Oh, and no, Garrison, I it's not a I love you man reference. He always thinks that it is whenever I talk about slapping base. Well, okay. I mean, uh, you could see it that way, but it's, it's a not. As a general base reference, what we're specifically referencing is Davy 504. Yeah. If we were doing uh, the I Love You Man, it'd be Slap It to Base. Slap It to Base. <laughs> Which is great. I Which love is that a movie. great movie. I don't yeah. know why Garrison hates it. What? I know. He's wrong. Again. It's like most things. Some people. Is he not a Rush fan? Is that why? It, it, does he not think Rashida Jones is one of the most gorgeous women ever? I think she is. Well, yeah. if, if he thought that, then he would watch Parks and Rec. Yeah. And again, I'm not pressuring him to do that because he's finally watching Breaking Bad. And I want him to watch Steins Gate next. Ooh. Yeah, I think he'll like Steins Gate. I think he will too. But he's just like, yeah, alright. And then he just never does it. There, there are many... There, there are a few key oh, waifus oh, yeah. to be had in Steins Gate oh, that are... Right up his alley, I think. So yes, yes indeed. Yeah. Okay, so this dude with the fucking bubbles, the ascendant, right? Yeah. This is the dude that drove me so fucking crazy on uh, the insanity boat. Oh yeah. What's that? He's a fucking bullet sponge, and you'll see in a second why I don't like fighting him in the first place. So he shoots the bubbles, and he's got this little orb thing that you need to destroy before you can hit him. Rude. So I just, you know, make sure that both of them are attacking it specifically. And then, he's available to attack. And it's not going to be so bad right now because I'm, like, broken. But the Ascendant Orb just keeps respawning, and he's in the insanity mode, he's a fucking ridiculous bullet sponge. That seems extremely tedious. So, it, yes, it's incredibly tedious. So, I don't recommend playing this game on Insanity. That Descendant Orb just has a super short respawn timer. Prefect is down. Yes. We're in the clear. Luckily, I only had to kill it twice this time. But, you know. Other times, it is not so uh, so quick. It's not so cash money? No. It's not very cash money. <laughs> but, yeah. I love you, man. It's a great movie. Why is he hating on it? I know, right? It's great. Rashida Jones, my boy Paul Rudd, my boy Jason Segel. Lou Ferrigno. Megorium's Wonder Emporium. Yeah. Lance Disabled Pathfinder. Hell yeah. It's just good. Yes, good good film. Yeah. Damn. Mostly Rashida Damn. Jones. She is, uh, she is fantastic. Yes, but yes, watch Parks and Rec after you watch Breaking Bad and Steins Gate.
Yes. Eventually, we're just going to have a completely unmanageable list for him, like we, <laughs> like we did with Tim. Yeah, but Tim's never going to actually do it. Neither is Garrison. I think Garrison will. He's watching Breaking Bad now, and I think that I can get him to do Steins Gate. I, hopefully, he's, I can get him. He's watching Breaking Bad at like an episode a month. It, it's true. It's But he watched multiple episodes yesterday, and then his power went out. But still. Uh, <laughs> that has to be... That's, that's just rude. Yeah, he I, must have planned it that way. I feel bad for that. I tried to take down this place for months, and you made it look so easy. It was pretty easy. It Destroying was easy. Destroying the command structure and systems leaves the rest of the kept vulnerable. Remember Jarnik? The nope. shield around it's come down. The frozen city? That's the one. This is the perfect opportunity for a final push, while they're still dealing with the chaos. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll let's do it. it. In the meantime, I'll see if there's anything I can find here. Be careful, Ryder. Now you're gonna go fuck up that other place? Yes. Okay, let's go fuck up that other place. If you can ever figure out how to get down. Uh, John. Ice cave? Memory trigger. White death? Oh yeah, scan for the very thing. No. Was it this? I should have gotten the stupid forward station. No. Just fast travel. Let's go. <laughs> One time I was just like, alright, I'm just gonna, you know, climb down the mountain. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds like a headache. Give me that. Temperature is normal. Totes not worth. Totes, Totes worth, yeah. Does your uh, vehicle just teleport there with you? Uh, Yes. Oh, that's awfully convenient of it. Wonder how it does that shit. Magic. Uh, yeah, let's go to the outpost first. I'm reading a temperature decrease. I'm very proud of you, Sam. Sam knows how to read. P -P. Yes, Jack? Just trying to come up with a nickname. Your name rhymes with sightsee, gutsy. PB's already a nickname. No shit. What's it short for? Pelisaria Basale. Ah, PB it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. P in in my right. time with the with the Asari, I never heard it. Oh, great! You know things. I also know things. <laughs> Uh, remnant, stay on guard. Okay. Oh no, not a remnant. Not too concerned about the remnant. Squad along, squad squad along, squad along, Hooray, it's an outpost thing. You can do the thing and. Outpost bacon. Womp. Oh, Rick and Morty Season 4 finally came to an end. Okay. You got to see what happened to Phoenix person. Right? That's it. You, you didn't miss much. Oh, I didn't watch any of it. I don't care. Really. Yeah. Real talk, Pathfinder. Real talk. I as Governor Shy is already up my ass about this outpost. If local Angara weren't on board, we'd have a problem. We are good, right? As much as you brought us, we can't afford to anger the neighbors. It's fine, Director. I ticked three or four of the necessary boxes. <laughs> you enjoy testing me. The results are what matter, and I respect it. Vold helps. Cold as it is, it changes estimates in our favor. But the initiative needs you to find more. We're never really done, of course. Survival isn't something that just ends. Well, sometimes it oh, is. <laughs> a ceremonial one. A statement for the archives. Is this really the time? Pathfinder was always a symbol. Like outpost flags hanging in the commons, the people need a connection to reality on the ground. Address them, Pathfinder. What did this mean? Vold was, is, a hard world. But it's not without life. It has history. People. It was worth fighting for. We're not walking into the unknown. We're joining something. 
And that is better than we hoped for. Recorded, Pathfinder. Addison out. I like that she's just like, check. yeah, I don't want to go to Vold because it's Vold. So, yeah. Although I'm not. I'm a, uh, I'm a frigid bitch, but there's a limit there. Okay. Get it, frigid? Yes, I, I do understand. Are you sure? Yes. Because you didn't laugh. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, now I feel validated. <laughs> in, in its entirety. My my life has meaning again for the next 20 minutes for this episode. What about? God damn it. <laughs> Did he just jump out another window? She's inside when I thought she was outside. <sighs> What's the difference of what they're Okay, I got one. Hello, love. Make sure Fumiyoko keeps to himself. Yeah, Fumiyoko. Pleasure to meet you, Pathfinder. Priya Blake, Captain of Outpost Taravuni. I'm glad you're here. I thought we'd have to deal with this on our own. What's the problem? Is it the cat? No. At least I don't think so. A few of my drill technicians went missing on a research expedition west of here. We've tried their comms, but get nothing but static. Do you know where they were headed? I know the route, but we lost their tracking signal halfway through. I don't know how far they got. We tried to look at their research notes, but the data is corrupted. We have zero leads. I was supposed to keep these people safe. I've already failed them. Don't lose hope. I'll find your people. Coming from you, I believe it. Their research log is in the lab. Maybe your AI can piece together the corrupted data and get a nav point. Go. Oh. I should head out. Come back if you need anything. You got a girlfriend. Uh, okay, so um, this missing science crew uh, thing. Is, it is a side quest, but I promised that we would do at least one of these. Okay. Um, and I think that Vold is, is the best one to do it for because it's more difficult. Is it? Yes. This crate contains a prototype for a handheld ice drill. Ellen narrowed possible and and ID not found and five sample sites to a single radius. We'll err uh, uh, two two four to the site and take enough samples to her to test. Send a device with nav point five percent and a flop. So they're developing Was that necessary? drilling yeah. method. Oh okay. Smart. I'm sorry. Do you not like it when I do things? I I like it when you do things. Sometimes. Oh. Sometimes I just hate things. I mean, have you met me? I hated twenty things this morning. But he doesn't didn't hate, even try. He doesn't hate me though, so it's fine. Uh, you are correct. I do not hate you. Most so, of the time. Yeah, most of the time. <laughs> Then you make me play DK Tropical Freeze, and then I hate you for a minute. Yeah. Cause fuck that game. It's a good game. Terrible game. I like the original uh, games better, but Tropical. look, cat set up camp. Yeah, I'm not too concerned about the cat. They die very fast. Yeah, it's, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, maybe there's a a mappy map. Nav point closer. Yeah. I'm not in combat, you stupid whore. I disagree. By the bridge. Where there's cat, there's trouble. We have to deal with this. No, we don't. <laughs> Later, bitches. <laughs> well, the sniper was trying to get an aim on their massive fucking vehicle that takes no fall damage, and then they just, you know, uh, teleported. Yeah. As one does. Uh, do, we, do they have teleport technology? Because that, that could change the game. I mean, have you seen the fan forums about Star Trek 2? Holy shit. They do not have teleport technology. I don't think so. I no. disagree. I just saw it. Oh. You just teleported yourselves and your car all the way there. Magic. I've been watching a whole bunch of Pin and Teller lately. Oh yeah. Speaking of uh, magic, some of their stuff. Their actual magic stuff or the bullshit stuff. Both. I like bullshit. I think it's fun. Yeah. It's a uh, it's good times. Yeah. Looking at some of the stuff and I'm just like, I know how you did that. And other times it's just like, yeah, I I have no idea how you did that. Plus I got Allison Hannigan or something. Yeah. Pathfinder. And I like I her. Heavy fire She's incredibly adorable. I agree. And 
and I wish that she hadn't just kind of vanished off the face of the earth. Well, she uh, she ended up having kids, right? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, so reduced her roles and all that stuff. Took on like the smaller thing with Pin and Teller, just to you know be more with her kids. If Rick Moranis can do it, she can do it. Yeah, he's back or something, right? He's kind of back. Uh, he, he's been doing a bit more now that his kids are mostly grown. Keep an eye out for Prius people. Because the story was he lost his uh, wife to cancer, I want to say. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, and then he was just like, yeah, I can't do acting and raise my kids at the same time. You know, I could afford it to have a nanny, but I don't want to do that. You know, I want to be there for my kids. So he just took off. Yeah. I, he did like three or four voice acting things. But that was it. Just things that he could spend a weekend on. And then, I think his kids are mostly grown now, so he's coming back and doing a little bit of stuff. Yeah. Um, isn't that what Eddie Murphy did, too? Uh, I have no idea. I think Eddie Murphy just started making bad movies when he had oh, kids. Oh, yeah. True. Trying to make stuff that is, is more family-friendly, so that way his kids can watch it. Yeah. Fair enough. This should be fun. Because I, I uh, attacked these these boys on insanity too. It's like, oh boy. Oh my. Architect. That's that's big. Yes, yes, it is. You gonna kill it? Yes, yes, I am. Nice. It deserves to die. If it wants to land. Yeah, we were supposed to see the architect the, for the first time on uh, EOS, but you know, I didn't. I didn't do that. So that's why they know what it is, is because they assume that you did the, the quest on EOS. Nice. But yeah, these are uh, just the big boy, you know, bosses. Nice. But yeah. they're completely optional for the most part. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, you're you're getting fucked up. Okay, calm down. Man, that thing is kind of kicking your ass. Again. I know, right? Plus, you got to battle with the cold environment. Yeah, because the first few times I fought this boy, I was like, "Holy shit!" My, my shields keep dying because I keep... Fuck. I need to go find a warm boy. Over there, I see one. Life support levels critical. Yeah, I know. I'm working on it. I picked this one specifically because it's more difficult. Because you have to deal with the, the life support. Nice. That's pretty cool. Pretty spiffy. <laughs> it's the first one that I fought, too. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what the fuck is happening here. So, how do you fuck it up now? So, uh, I need to go back over there because I need to attack its legs. Oh, okay. And it gets the shieldy boys from the ground through its legs. So you attack the legs, brings down the shieldy boy. Cock. Do the tech combo. Keep on it. Don't let it get away. Okay, I need to go find more heat. Please hold. Yes, air conditioning. Cool. But yeah, you gotta take down all three of its legs and all of that shit. And then what? Uh, and then we basically need to take it out completely. Um, and then yeah, it's but fun. I like it. But is it gonna land again? I mean, yeah, if I was it. I just wouldn't land. Well, it's dumb. So just neener neener, can't touch me. Yeah, you gotta chase that bitch down. Hello, love. Over the legs. Fuck off. 
warm spot. Come on. Need to find goddamn life support. Right here. Yeah, I know, Sam. But yeah, even even though I'm like broken, it's still like an actual challenge. Nice. Uh, which is fun. Which is one reason why I wanted to do this on the. I think it's just not having any of your shit. Nope. Can you beat one of these things on insanity mode? Yep. Fuck that. <laughs> It took forever, but it did happen. I ran out of ammo. I I would imagine so. Yeah. And there's no like super easy way, like, hey, yeah, it's actually like just super weak to the water pistol or some shit. No. Yeah, the fishing pole. Yeah. Classic game of both. Because I know a lot of bosses have stuff like that. If it does have something like that, I don't know about it. But these are like completely optional too, so it's it's just like you know you don't you don't got them. Well, let's take a uh, let's take a gander. Yeah. Yes, gander. Uh, yeah. Let's see if there's anything. Uh... We can take out his legs. I'm gonna take you out to launch. So yeah, there's no like uh, easy way. It's pretty much just uh, keep trying, memorize shit, save before you go in because you're probably gonna die. I did not save, but I don't think I'm going to die. Uh, even then, like, it autosaves pretty often. The autosave in this game is a lot better than Hitman's. Yeah, Hitman's doesn't seem to make a lick of damn sense. No, it, it's not consistent at all. The, uh, the autosave in Final Fantasy XII is actually how you abuse some shit. I believe that. Sometimes the Hitman autosave is really helpful. Other times it's just like, yeah, thanks for not saving for 20 minutes. Why the fuck? Yeah. But with... FF12, when you go into trial mode in between each level of the hundred, you uh, it auto saves for you, and you can actually quit back to the main screen after an auto save, go back into the normal game, and you have the items from the trial mode because you can get a lot of rare shit in there, and that's how you farm very early. I agree. It's important. Open the stupid door. It makes no difference. Open the door. I agree. Though it does make a bit of a difference this time. It makes quite a bit of a difference. Peekaboo, shoot the head! Okay. Yeah, fuck it up. In the gangster style. Fuck you up. Oh yeah, uh, so yeah, my, I cannot in fact play my time splitters on the Xbox. Oh, that's rude. I put it in. It's yeah. It's just not an officially supported game, so I can't play it. Um, so what I'm gonna need to do is I'm going to need to get another contract. Oh yeah. Uh, maybe. Open the door. I mean, because that's that's old school, man. It's not very expensive though. So it's I mean, it's not. I remember you. At one point, you could get PS2s for like thirty bucks. Yeah. I bet even fair game I can get original Xbox is pretty cheap. Yeah, probably like... Game games are different. Yeah, those are still expensive. The people are still actively playing them. Or Melee or whatever. Yeah. But no one plays the original Xbox anymore. Exactly. But, you know, I'd like to... I mean, I wish that they would just have full support for everything. Like, I wish that too, but... I understand licensing and things. Not only that, but also with how specialized games have to be. I mean, you're basing it on some, like, cycle speeds based on the processor and RAM and all that stuff. 
and some of them kind of fuck with that to like multiple, so you gotta have it running in a specific environment. Yeah. So it, it can get very complicated with how a specific game you get. It's like, eh. Yeah, I comprehend. Remember, There's not a whole lot of games on the original Xbox that I want to play, but like I, I gotta have my time to finish it. Like yeah. when we played it on the channel, we played it on Dolphin, which is fine, but not really the same. Yeah. Or they could just re-release them. Boom! Oh. Hooray! Now I just need to go up and do the final blow. What happens if you don't? Does it get back up and heal itself? I have not done that. Wow. This thing caused a lot of trouble. That, just killing that brought Vold to 95% viability. Damn. That's a lot. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> go get some heat and then we'll go back to the Nexus. Or to the Tempest anyway. That's fucking insane. Yeah. <laughs> I like those battles though. They're difficult even with me being broken. Where's the... And you get some nice rewards for it. You get nice rewards, man. It really helps out with your viability percentages. Now, so we can do more of those because they're on most of the planets. Does it ever get to the point that you don't have to worry about the cold? Uh, no, but it gets to the point where it's, like, not a big deal, really. Uh, okay. Let's see. Go back to... Xiong. There you go. Talk to her, and we'll jump on the Tempest. And then next time, we'll go down to Havara. Nice. Uh, I'm reading a normal temperature range. But good, good boss fight. That I was a, that was a hell of a thing. I really like those, but yeah, especially combating the uh, the the cold makes that one pretty difficult. So I think that one's fun. Yeah, based on the uh, quick Google I we'll did to see if there's a, a cheap way to beat it, that one seems to be the one most people have trouble with. Yep. <laughs> I lost good people to that thing. Drill technicians who went there on an expedition. I pacified it. You won't get any more trouble. I should have known about it in the first place. I was supposed to protect those scientists. True. At least I know the rest of my people are safe, thanks to you. And yeah, that bitch is dead. I should head out. Come back I should if you go. Need anything. All right, to the tempest. Sounds good. To the tempest. To the temp. To the temp. 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 To the temp. To the temp. To the temp. 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 Oh hey, look, it's just right there. Yeah. How's it going? They came to say sup with it. Did they? Did they come to say sup with it? Yeah, I, I think Kala would say that. Oh, there is another thing that we need to do on Vault 2, but uh, maybe we'll come back to do that. Okay. Remember uh, that we were talking about the Moshai, which is like the teacher that Joel had? Kinda, she's, yes. She's imprisoned on Bold. Um, yes, that's right. Waiting for your call, Joel can go fuck himself. Let's go talk to girl you Susie. So, girl. The discovery of Aya was just what we needed, Ryder. Oh, okay. Yeah, Aya. The Ingaran scientists have been so generous in sharing their wisdom. It, it's been amazing. And Garan expertise will be a tremendous help to the initiative. We were certainly hurting for it. I'm thankful the Angara were willing to risk working with us. I'm afraid not all of them are quite so friendly. Some give trust easily. From others, you have to earn it. I'm confident we'll get there. I take it you work closely with the Nexus Science team? I try to keep in contact with them. We discuss anything and everything we discover out here. After all, many brains are better than one, and Dr. Aridana is worth two or three at least. I work best when I have other people to bounce ideas off of. When did you start believing in a god? My parents were both scientists. My home was ruled by rationality. So when I became a teenager... Let's just say that while other kids found Batarian music, I found god. But your work as a scientist... Convinced me even more. Especially when I got into molecular biology, physics. The patterns I kept seeing over and over again. They were like an artist's watermarks. God, to me, is an artist. An inventor, not someone checking to see if I brush my teeth. I should get back to things. 
Sounds good. You should brush your teeth, Sophie. Yes, you should. <laughs> She's like, yeah, that bitch doesn't make me brush my teeth. <laughs> unlike my parents. <laughs> You have AVP outstanding. outstanding. Alien versus Predator, outstanding. No, <laughs> the best, the best film. No, not any of them. They were <laughs> awful. Oh yeah, you can you can build weapons and stuff here. Um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna because I already got good enough weapons. Strike team missions. I uh, gotta talk about the space. No, what's all this then? Yeah, uh, we got three acquire points. So I explained this to, me, to you last, uh, maybe not last time, but um. Before, yeah. I can unfreeze certain people and we get um, yeah. investment rewards. Right. So, uh, let's see. Improved by prices. Yeah, we'll take those. Military. I don't really need the drops. Reveal hidden caches. That's a good idea. Apex. Yeah, so we'll do constants. That's good. More mining operations. Yeah. So that's good <laughs> No, lab technicians? Alright. But yeah, good uh, sus. Nice. Oh, I want to see something. There's a specific cutscene I'd like to see. Hopefully it will trigger. It's like going to a damn Apple presentation. Oh yeah, just one more thing. Biotics. Hey, man. That's how it's said. Yep. Though, sorry, biotics are a few hundred thousand years ahead. Humans back home, maybe. You skipped class for 600 years. <laughs> that fair point. Let's go, PB. <laughs> Just fucking wrecker. Ah. Uh, anyway. Climbing up the ladder. So sexy. I agree. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. Next time we'll go to Havarl. Okay. So should go ahead and do shoutouts? Yes, let's do shoutouts. Alright, so my shout-out is going to go towards something simple. It's what I've been drinking during this and last episode while recording. And it is Tropicana Orange Pineapple Juice. So, I like orange juice, and I also like pineapple juice. For reasons. If you, yeah. don't, if you don't know why, don't Google it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's, he's preparing for the end of quarantine. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's just good stuff. Uh, I just like drinking a whole bunch of orange juice, but just straight orange juice always leaves that weird aftertaste in my mouth. It, it always tastes like uh, an hour after I brush my teeth kind of feeling, you yeah. know? So when they mix it with other so stuff... So Subi doesn't know. Right. Subi will never know. But when they mix it with other stuff, like pineapple juice, it gets rid of that, and I think it gives it just a bit more flavor, and it just tastes better. So yeah. Small shout-out to that. Also because we wait until the last minute to figure out what our shout-outs were. <laughs> So what you got? So I'm going to do a uh, shout out to Nyasha Hatendi, who is the voice of Jal in this game. Um, again, just like last time, I don't really know much else that he's been in. Um, but I, I think he does a pretty good job uh, as this character, especially when he does the things that he's unfamiliar with how to say it. You'll recall that he said Milky Way. And I, I, I like that quite a bit. Yeah, that was um, nice. And I was speaking previously about uh, when he was trying to do human slang. He's like, fuck over <laughs> I love that shit. Uh, something was running through his ass or something is what he said. And Leo's yes. like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> Fuck over. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think he does a great job. I don't really like Jal that much as a character, generally. but um, That doesn't mean the voice acting isn't great. The voice acting is great. Um, so, yeah. Just a shout out to him. Awesome. Cool. Alright, guys. We'll see you next time when we go down to Havarl. Thanks so much. Later.